Um, okay, welcome to another Dino weekly update. Uh, this time coming to you from San Diego. Uh, I'm out here for Thanksgiving. Dino Cron is a new feature that is not quite released. We'll, we'll fully announce this in, in December, but uh, it is available already in the open source project in, in the CLI and uh, in deploy for you to try out. There's a RFC Cron channel on Discord uh, to give any feedback if, if you do try it out. Uh, but this this is exactly what it sounds like. It lets you execute these uh, uh, tasks on, on some sort of schedule in, in a background isolate. Um, so this should be pretty, pretty nice. There's no external configuration. It's configured completely in, in the code here. So uh, this example is executing uh, this console log every 20 minutes. Uh, KV Watch is another feature that is coming very soon now. Uh, it's uh, not yet landed, uh, so you can't quite quite try it out yet, but, but within the next couple of weeks uh, it sh should be there. This essentially gives uh, Dino KV real-time capabilities and, and lets you watch a key. So in this example, uh, what it's doing is, is doing KV watch on the counter key. Uh, and every time there is a change to the counter, which is uh, set right here every, every one second, uh, it logs something. So this is going to be very awesome for creating real-time applications uh, and also coming uh, just in just a couple of weeks. So, so watch out for uh, Watch and uh, uh, Cron uh, coming soon. Should, should accelerate your development quite a lot. I want to mention uh, KV Connect Kit. This is a third-party NPM module. This allows you to connect to uh, Dino KV instances from Node or Cloudflare workers or other uh, runtimes. Um, this is uh, uh, developed by a guy named John, uh, uh, but uh, he's he's putting a lot of work into this, and it's it's uh, it's looking pretty good. So if if you love Dino KV but uh, are not actually a Dino user, you can you can actually use this in your Node projects now. Workspaces is coming to Dino. Uh, this is going to be an unstable feature, but it should be landing today-ish. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically you, you put this, this uh, it's, it's for mono repos where you have multiple projects within a, in, a, in the same repo uh, and want to make sure that all of the imports kind of work nicely between the two. So this is an example of kind of the root Dino JSON file that you would share between multiple projects. And the workspaces is, is directory A and, and directory B, each of which would have their own Dino JSON file. Um, and this import statement, uh, I'm just realizing not properly aligned, but uh, is uh, uh, defining uh, the express bare specifier that can be used uh, both in A and B. Um, this uh, is a part of a larger effort that, that we're doing to make uh, Dino packages a lot more ergonomic and distributable. Um, this is, like I said, going to be behind this uh, unstable workspaces flag. Um, more to come here later, but yeah, distributing code is, is very much on our minds these days and, and kind of working with, with larger projects. Finally, uh, sub hosting. We we've had a sub hosting service at, at Dino for for quite a while now. In fact, it, it runs the Netlify Edge functions. Uh, it is kind of a uh, a meta hosting service in in a sense. Um, we've had a lot of good response from this, and and have uh, put some effort into making this. Uh, self-service so that you can sign up and, and use it with, with a free account. Uh, this essentially lets you run uh, untrusted JavaScript code for for your own users. So uh, if, if you're developing, say, a uh, SaaS application that needs that wants to allow its users to, uh, say, do a custom integration with some other service and you want to allow people to write a little bit of JavaScript code, uh, this th this totally allows you to do that. So um, yeah, I would point point you at, at the website uh, where you can learn more. Uh, there there is a bunch of uh, 
API docs that you know essentially let you spin up little uh, V8 isolates on demand uh, and do that in a secure way. Okay, that's it for this update. Thanks. <laughs>